Peter Benito is uh, the youngest player in the field this week. Uh, he is 16 just today. He uh, qualified through the uh, Chase the Dream uh, qualifiers. He uh, shot 70 and uh, was one of the guys that, uh, that came through at, uh, at Brockville Country Club. Uh, he's one of nine kids, which is kind of neat. He uh, comes from a family of, of golfers. His dad's going to be caddying for him. And uh, he plays cross-handed, which is uh, a little different. And uh, he's out late today, so it, uh, he should be a, a fan favorite uh, just to see him out there uh, being that young, young kid. And uh, I think the, uh, the fans will really appreciate his game. What's he going to be the low score uh, for all four rounds here at Smuggler's Glen? Um, it's going to take, um, to start with, it's going to take very accurate uh, driving of the ball. If you get off course here at Smuggler's Glen, it's a shot maker's course. And uh, spray balls, uh, as uh, often pros have found out here, you make high scores in a hurry. So it's going to really reward the, the player who can hit the ball very straight um, and then control his irons um, for his distance control and, uh, and hit the ball very, very close to the holes and make putts. Uh, so your typical scoring. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to reward the player who gets a hot putter and uh, is hitting his wedges close. And if you can keep the ball in play and do all that, uh, Smuggler's Glen can be tamed very easily. So I'm expecting uh, scores from 3 to 4 to even 5 under each day by the, uh, by the winning golfer. So I'm expecting anywhere from 12 under to 16 under uh, to win the tournament.